Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you how to change the font in Eclipse. So as you can see I have um, some code here and this code is written in a particular font. So if you want to change that font or change the size of the font, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So you're going to go to Window and then Preferences. And then you're going to uh, just search uh, Font and Enter. And then here you can see a bunch of options about colors and fonts. Um, so just in case your search bar isn't working or whatever, another way you can uh, access this page is by expanding General and then expanding Appearance and then clicking Colors and Fonts, and it's the same place. So a lot of people ask me what font I use for um, my uh, Eclipse. I use Consolos. I don't know if that's the right way to say it, but uh, this is the name right here. Um, and I use size 13. I just like that size. So if you want to change the font, you can click um, Highlight uh, Text Font right here. And you click Edit, and then you can uh, change it to any font that's installed on your computer. So I can change it to, um, say, uh, this one, Distant Galaxy and click OK and apply and then all my code is changed to that font uh, I'm going to change it back to Consolas just because I like that uh, a lot but uh, you can uh, use whatever font you want you can also change uh, regular italic bold bold italic any um, style you want and then you can also change the um, size so you can choose from one of these uh, pre uh, preset numbers here or you can type in your own I typed in my own uh, 13 size so yeah, click OK. So you can change the font for a bunch of different parts of uh, Eclipse. Uh, you can see here there's a lot of options. So I encourage you to play around with different fonts, see what you like. And uh, yeah, you can even change things like um, counter color, uh, error text color. So there's a lot of different options. So uh, and make sure you click apply. Uh, otherwise, as you can see, it won't change until you click apply. And you can also restore defaults if you want. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider subscribing to the channel. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.